Want to achieve network marketing success? Then you're in the right company. Hello, and welcome to Leave Nothing to Chance, hosted by networking marketing giant, John Solider. Learn everything you need to know about the network marketing space from somebody who's actually done it. Join us every week for front row seats as we feature some of the finest and most successful personalities in network marketing. Leave nothing to chance. Join us now. Well, it is my privilege to welcome a long-term friend of mine, another East Coaster uh, from the United States, and uh, neither one of us live there anymore. He's, he's living over in Quezon City in the Philippines, and of course, I'm here in Dallas, Texas, and that is my good old friend, Mr. Chris Thomas. Chris, how are you tonight? Oh, I'm fantastic. Thanks so much for having me on, John. Great to see you. This is fantastic. You, you too. Thank God for technology, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's it's amazing. I mean, you think of where we started. And we were we were uh, using tear tags and, and and phone calls. Amazing, it's amazing. So before we get started, how are all the babies? All of them are good. I have a uh, five year old daughter, a four year old son, a three year old daughter, and a one year old son. So wow. it's uh, it's good. I just turned fifty four, and uh, life is all brand new for me. Wow, that's beautiful. I, I enjoy your Facebook pictures of those little guys. One of these days when this craziness is over, I am going to come and visit and uh, meet my uh, nephews and nieces. <laughs> Absolutely. They're waiting for you, Uncle John. Well, I can't, can't wait to do that. So, so, Chris, of course, I know your story, but our listeners don't. So how did you get started in network marketing? I owned a uh, telemarketing company, and I sold the company. Uh, I was 20 years old. We had, uh, we had raised millions of dollars for Special Olympics uh, for about a two-year period, and I woke up one day and my father had died of a massive heart attack when I was 16. And I remember thinking to myself, well, what happens if I never work for somebody uh, and I die at 58 like he did? What, what really, how would it affect my life? And, and, and that made a huge, uh, there, there was a decision I made in my life right then. And that was when I was going to start my own company. I didn't know what. And I fell into multi-level marketing. Uh, at 20 years old, I didn't know what I was going to do. And I looked in an ad in USA Today, because that was what everybody did on Fridays, if you were looking at business opportunities in, in, in the 80s, and we looked in, I looked for an ad, and it said, eat cookies, make money, lose weight, and I thought it was the stupidest ad I ever saw, and I had to give it a call. Now, I called, I pulled over to the side of the road, and I was so excited about the conversation that I was having from a guy who, uh, his name was Bob. And Bob was telling me about these crazy diet cookies and how people were losing weight and, more importantly, the concept of leverage. And he was going to teach me the same leverage that allowed him to put both his kids through school with a company called Herbalife uh, back in the, in, the, in the beginning of the 80s. And I was all excited, so excited that I hung up the phone and I had been checking my oil in my, in my Dodge Omni at the time. And I didn't even, I just set the hood down and I never closed the hood. And I got back going to the highway and I started driving down the highway and I got to be about 60 miles an hour and the entire hood flew up, smashed my windshield, smashed the hood, but I still decided that I was going to go to the meeting. So I took a coat hanger and I tied down my my car and I drove up to this gentleman's house and that was my first exposure to network marketing was in uh, about 1987 or 1988 and one week later uh, I had you walk into my life at a holiday at a holiday inn in uh, Cromwell Bridge Road in Locker Raven in uh, Maryland United States. Uh, wow. and, I, and I do remember that. I remember the first time that we met and the guy that ran the ad I sponsored. So that's kind of bring everybody up to speed how Chris and I know each other. We got, we got so much history here. We could, we could do about nine interviews, Chris, but uh, let's stay on the multi-level stuff for a bit. In the new book, Leave Nothing to Chance. I know you've just read it. What principle yep. stands out the most to you? Without a doubt, without a doubt, number 11, you're starting today who I am today. I spent from 20 years old to 50 years old learning multi-level and, and, and apparently having a pretty successful career. But that completely changed when I turned 50 years old and I finally had kids. And when I had my own kids and, I had, and, and my, my wife and I had, had our own kids and we had a, a brand new life, I was able to make a commitment in a way that most people weren't. I met my wife 
and she was all the way in Manila and I was in Florida. And I made a decision because of multi-level marketing, because of something that you taught me when I was very young, which is you were going to teach me a skill that would allow me to you to allow you to transport me anywhere in the world and drop me off and I would be able to build a business. Well, guess what? Because without you saying that all of those years ago, I would have never had the belief that a kid from Baltimore with no education could get involved in an industry and change his entire life, his entire destiny, and maybe for generations to come. That's what it did for me. And it's without a doubt, it's number 11. It's build a better future starting today. If you know, One thing that you say in here is you describe the, the most important thing that your education, your own retirement, your long, your course, the health of your loved one. That is literally where I live right now, every day of my life. I live in number 11. So it's without a doubt number 11. Great. So what was the first self-development book you ever read? You know, I think it was uh, The Richest Man in Babylon. But uh, the one that I think had the biggest impact on me, the first one, was Unlimited Power, Tony Robbins, without a doubt. Uh, I found myself shortly after reading that book in Washington, D.C., walking on fire 24 feet across uh, super hot coals. And Tony, it was one of the first uh, fire walks Tony Robbins did. And it changed my life. It made me realize I could do anything, no matter who I was, no matter where I came from. The past does not equal the future. So, Chris, let's just say, for example, I know you've got some great islands over there in the Philippines. I don't know you've got some property on, on a couple of them. But let's just say, hypothetically, that tomorrow, they came and they said, Chris, we're sending you to a beautiful island. We're going to give you plenty of food, plenty of water, plenty of shelter. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. But you got to travel light. You can only bring three books with you. What would the three books be? Unleashed, unlimited power, Tony Robbins. And the third one has been the one who has had the most impact on me uh, in the last three or four years. And it's the Silva mind control method by jose silva i highly highly recommend that it has nothing to do with controlling other people it, it's teaching you how to control your mind how to eliminate procrastination how to literally create the future that you're looking for and it's it's been it's been a tremendous in, instruction guide for me uh i feel very blessed uh, to have found that Luke, I, did, I, I didn't find that in the normal channels that I was looking for. Uh, I found it uh, through a friend of mine who's a professional athlete, and they use it for their own um, improvements on a daily basis. And it just it's just been amazing for me. Jose Silva, the Silva Mind Control Method. Great, great. So let me ask you this, Chris. You know, we're, we're living in some weird times. We've known each other more than half of our lives, right? I don't think either one of us have ever seen anything like what's gone on the last, you know, 18 months or so in the world, right? And it's affected everywhere. It's affected where you are. It's affected where I am. It's affected where everybody else listening certainly is. So let's just say, let me kind of get, set this up for you. I'd love your response. We have a 25-year-old, well-educated, maybe college educated, they understand the internet, they understand technology, they understand social media. They started their business career maybe back three, four years ago. And all of a sudden, the pandemic comes and slam the brakes. Now they find themselves living on mom and dad's couch, right? Back, back home, back, maybe they're back in the room that they were in when they were born, who knows, right? And uh, the uh, other side of that, Dad, dad's about a 60 year old guy about my age and uh, been in business. Maybe he's owned a business. Maybe he's been senior level management in somebody else's business done real well. And all of a sudden, you know, was probably looking a couple of years ago and starting to think, hey, a few years I can hit more golf balls, catch more fish, play with the grandkids, you know, spend the my golden years doing what I want to do. I worked really hard all these years. And all of a sudden, kind of same deal as the 25 year old brakes got slammed on. Things are not the same financially. And they say to themselves, hey, you know what? We know Chris. Chris lives down the street from us. We're going to pop over to Chris's office this afternoon, and we're going to ask him, why multi-level, end of 2021, 2022? Why should somebody get involved in this industry today, Chris? Oh, my God. It's the greatest time in the world to be involved in multi-level right now. It's the, it's the industry. If you remember 25, 30 years ago, we were saying this is the last bastion of free enterprise, and today it is. 
Today, it's the only business that when all of the other brick and mortar businesses were shut down, when all of the delivery services were shut down, the one thing that wasn't shut down were, were, were the end line deliveries like Amazon or UPS or one, one of the delivery services. They, they weren't shut down. So what was happening is if you were able to own a business that you could start from your home, you could run from your home, you did not have to do any of the heavy lifting, it was done for you by a central location somewhere in the world, and you would get paid not only based on the personal sales that you made, but the generational sales that were to come. What industry is that? It's only one industry. It's the industry I le learned many, many years ago, multi-level marketing, the one we now are the cool guys. We now have the solution. Very few people in the world have the solution. We have the solution. Whether you're getting involved in Amway, Herbalife, Mary Kay, any of those companies, it's better than working for someone else and hoping that they pay you. Multi-level marketing has a structure built in that's going to pay you. All you have to do is do the work and you can do it from your home without any of the heavy lifting. So if I'm 25 years old, I'm learning how to use the technology. I'm learning how to use the apps. I'm learning how to do all, I'm learning how to use Zoom and Instagram and, and TikTok. I'm learning all these old skills as can, that can allow your friends. It can allow you to do Zoom meetings just like you would be an opportunity meeting. It, it actually can compress time in a massive way. If you're that 60 year old, learn how to use Zoom. Learn how to make things easier for you. When your friends ask you, can you show me that video? Learn how to use that app that you have with your company to be able to send them that video right away on their phone so they can watch it. Don't make it difficult for people. Make it easy for people. Multi-level marketing today has made it easier than ever to start a business from your home with basically no money and be able to create leverage. And I mean real leverage four and five and six and seven figure leverage, the, the kind of leverage that can allow a 54 year old man to move halfway around the world, start a family and never have to leave his home to be able to support his family. That's what multi-level marketing does. That's what it's done for me for 30 years. That's what it does for everybody today. It gives you the opportunity to have freedom. And that's what we want in the world more than anything else is freedom. Wow. Great, 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 great answer. Couldn't, couldn't agree more. So let me ask you this, Chris, you know, you've started a lot of people, you've been in the industry a long time, you've been very successful in a number of different companies over the years. What strategies do you use? Okay. With that 25 year old, with that 60 year old, or with anybody, any age, any sex, any, any demographic you want to throw out there, how do you get them started to a fast start? So they see some success. They see, you know, what we used to call ink strike paper. And today it's probably more like, you know, internet strike, whatever it strikes, I guess. But uh, in other words, they get that result where they go, Hey, Chris told me about this business. He coached me up on what to do. I've done it. And now I've had some result. What's that strategy? You know, I think it's very important that people have, uh, no matter what company they choose, they choose a company that has a great customer program. Uh, we know as of about 2018, the network marketing climate change for everybody, a strong retail customer program, and you have to, you have to get people out of the gate. If, if we for 60 days, you lost them. It used to be the 90-day wonders. Now it's the 60-day wonders. You got 60 days to make an impact on somebody's psyche and their wallet. And if we cannot make an impact on their psyche and their wallet, now how do you do that if, they're, if you're the 25-year-old? You use those tools. You use that TikTok. You use the Zooms. You start... You, you literally create your own content and put it out that day. You make sure you understand about Facebook ads. You understand you, Facebook ads are so important. TikTok ads, uh, Instagram ads. These are things that I never would have thought that I would have an interest in. But I realized that so many people are on these social medias and they're looking just like we are. They're looking for something. That's why they make the bad decisions because they don't see any of the real decisions. We can give them a chance to have a real company, no matter what company, if you select a good company in our industry, you're going to have a better chance at success than you are if you go about it on your own. And so that first 60 days and the companies that I choose, are, I, I make sure they have a really good 60 day program uh, uh, right out of the gate, giving somebody a chance to have a leg up 
so that they can because the bottom line john people want to be able to make money immediately they don't have 90 days to be able to make a dime now they want to be able to put money in their pocket and if you have a program that can allow them to put money in their pocket relatively quickly but it also has a generational wealth element to it like the really good networking companies do you have a home run and I, I can't see doing anything else. I can't see starting a restaurant. I can't see doing a, 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 a laundromat. I can't see doing anything else that is more productive, more effective than multi-level marketing in 2021. I think it's the best choice you could possibly make. I certainly agree. And, you know, you, you mentioned legacy, for example. Um, this is a legacy business. You know, one of the things that I recognize now that I'm getting older is, you know, this is a business that once we build it right, it gets passed along to our heirs, our kids, and, and you know, maybe even eventually grandkids will wind up with our distributorships down the road. So legacy is something uh, that, that's so important. Love, love your response to that. Well, I mean, I, I've, uh, when I had my son, my oldest son, Corbin, I, uh, all I thought about was the legacy. And I also thought to myself, I don't want to be the father that's jumping from one network marketing company to the other. That's not something you and I were going to talk about right now, but I want to put that in there. When I had kids, all of my ideas of what multi-level marketing represented to me changed. I, I took the same skills that I learned and I said, how would I teach this to my son? Well, first you have to do what you did. I remember when you did it. I remember when you made the decision that you were going to be in one company for a long time and that's it. And, and I think that, that when you find a great company, when you find a company that, that, is, that is somebody that you feel comfortable with, somebody that you feel like you can have a, a, a growing business with and you can have a respect with, you have to lock horns and you have to understand that your job is to bring the people, train the people, keep the people, keep the morale up, te teach, teach the skills and the company's job. Their only simple job, but is so difficult. Their only job is to make the product, make sure it's consistent and ship the paychecks on time. That's ultimately at the end of the day, the only job of the network marketing company. It's our distributor. It's, it's our responsibility as distributors in this industry to be the professionals. I love the saying that I heard when I first started, which is network marketing is nothing else than a personal development course with a check. Because <laughs> that's really what it is. Absolutely. So, Chris, you know, let, let's, let's switch gears for a second because uh, we have a lot of our audience that – are either big sports fans, current athletes, former athletes, uh, old guys like us that were athletes, right? We, we, we were tough at one time. We're not anymore, right? But uh, at the end of the day, I still think I am. And then, then I was watching the Olympics and wrestling and watching how the guys were getting twisted. And I, my wife was watching with me and she's like, you used to actually really do that? I'm like, yeah, you, you know, she's like, yeah, that's why you walk the way that you do, you know? But uh, anyway, it was great to watch it. But, uh, you know, you were involved in the martial arts like I was way back. It's one of the passions you and I have, have shared and you even started a, a company way back, Ojo TV, where you were really ahead of your time. Uh, you've known a lot of the legends in the UFC, for example. And I know you've actually sponsored a couple UFC legends. If you want to just you know, tell that story, because I, I think, and let me, before you do that, Chris, for the audience's benefit, we all know people who are social media influencers who are not in network marketing. But Chris has been able to reach out to some really well-known people in the martial arts world. And, and the athletic world, another guy who's uh, not a martial artist, but uh, very well known in the sport and uh, reach them. And, and they've had an impact on his business, on his company. Uh, so anyway, Chris, let me throw the ball back to you. If you want to talk about them, if you want to name them, no problem. They're, they're celebrities, you know. You know, um, when I when I first got involved in the industry, uh, I remember thinking all those years ago when we were in in uh, all the way back with uh, selling a Muhammad Ali uh, uh, energy cookie. I remember that was the beginning where I thought to myself, what if we could have a product line that was so unique that was that would even it would even uh, enhance the performance of a professional athlete or it would enhance the performance of a basketball player or or a wrestler. And that was the very beginning. And and that was my own personal search. I mean, I, I was I began to look for companies that had extraordinary personal development supplements so that I could maybe take them to a college, take them to an athlete, 
And at first there were nobody, there was nobody doing this. And then eventually we, with that first company you and I knew about all those years ago, we were able to establish some professional sports and that became, that literally became what that company was known for is the company that attracted professional athletes. And I always thought to myself, what if you could create a great product? Now, the challenge is you can't do that with your regular supplements. It's got to be something so extraordinary because these athletes see it all, especially at the highest level, the UFC fighters, the Olympic athletes, the professional athletes, they see it all. So if you're not coming to them with something that's so unique, that's, that's patent protected, that's, that's exclusive, then you're just wasting your time. So I know that the company that you're with, you guys have an exclusive, you guys are exclusive, mine too. And I think that's so important. And what I realized was things that are important to elite athletes uh, at, at any age in their career is oxygen intake. That's, that's so important. And so if you can create a pro or find a product that actually increases the oxygen in your blood, that actually increases the ability for you to have uh, better endurance. Because if you're a fighter, it's not like being a baseball player or a basketball player. You don't lose the game. If you're a fighter, you go to the hospital sometimes if it doesn't work out. So these athletes, they, they know how important endurance is. And that's what, what, I, what I focused my attention on was finding great athletes. And I did. Uh, one of the athletes is uh, somebody that I've known literally – since I, since I owned my other, that Dojo TV company in 2000. And, and he was at the time, the UFC world champion, Pat Militich. And uh, he was not, he, he went on from being a world champion to one of the best trainers in the world, to a commentator for ESPN and the other large networks for 16 years. When I met Pat again, or when I reached out to Pat this time, I was reaching out to a friend. I wasn't reaching out to a prospect. I was reaching out to a friend who hadn't been paid in 16 weeks. Mm. Okay. And I didn't know that. I didn't realize that. But many, many, many professional athletes, especially if they're in the broadcast world, they're not being paid this entire pandemic until recently when sports started up again. So all of these world-class athletes, world-class uh, people, these, these presenters, are, are, are out of work and multi-level marketing for the very first time becomes of interest because we have a product that's so unique and we have a compensation plan that will pay them no matter where they live, no matter where they're at, directly to their bank account, which that's pretty much all network marketing. So I'm not giving any exclusives here. This is one company. This is any company. They probably have a system set up where the distributor can can use their phone, use their their computer, use their technological information to to get information out to people. And then when people sign up, somebody somewhere is going to ship the product to them, and they're going to basically get a check every week. And and that's what happened. Now, most professional athletes don't understand the multi level marketing, the the uh, the concept of leverage, but they do understand that. They are a social influencer. And as a social influencer, they have a certain amount. Maybe it's 5,000, 50,000, 100,000, a million. They have people following them that when they tell them about a product they love, the people come from miles around. We have a rapper. I have a rapper, a very famous guy. He's actually the number one rapper in the world right now. And he's, he's a, a non-industry uh, uh, rapper. But he's incredibly famous. And it's interesting, he doesn't do any kind of advertising. But yet, when he had such an amazing result from this particular, this particular line, he couldn't help but giving a free testimonial to another professional athlete because his friend, who was a professional athlete, asked him to try this. That's the difference. Once you get inside of these influencers one influencer goes to another goes to another goes to another and it's like it's it's a fire so if you have a great product if you have a unique product a product that maybe is uh, uh what is the word john um what is it usada is it usada no it is that uh nsf mm -hmm. and uh, nsf certified nsf certified is something that that uh if you want to take your product and you want to put your product into major league baseball into major 
you're NFL football, you, you have to have that certification. But what they realize is that if you have a product that is natural and organic, okay, it's natural and organic, you're not going to have the same issues of getting your product into an environment like a professional athlete environment. If you have a product that is natural and organic, if you make any kind of um, if you make any kind of alterations to that product, then you're going to have to go through the normal channels. But if you don't make any alterations and it's a very natural product, you'll find that it's easy to get in. And once you're in, uh, they don't care where it comes from as long as the price is good. And these professional athletes will use the product. You don't have to pay these people. Another thing, a lot of these, our companies, they think we have to pay an athlete. That's not true. First of all, us as the network marketing professionals, we don't respect that. The fact that you're going to bring it out an athlete in from the outside. These athletes are going to be people that come in and use the product and fall in love with the product, no matter what company. If you can find that unique formulation, you're going to have massive success. And that's what we're having right now. We're, uh, and, and that's, there are major celebrity athletes all over the world right now, John, that are dying to have someone that they know approach them about some great network marketing company. They are dying because they are losing their income. And there's so few opportunities out there in the world like network marketing. We have the gold. We have the candy. We just need to be willing to share it. The fact that you started doing this, this ad, this show again, the, the industry needed it. There used to be a publication called Upline Magazine, but that doesn't exist anymore. Today, you are the Upline Magazine. You are the, the, the one guy talking about the industry. You're not focused on one company or one product. It's the industry. It's the kind of people that come to this industry that make this industry great. Uh, that's why I'm here. I'm here because somebody believed in me when I never believed in myself all those years ago. Well, you know, Chris, you made, you made a lot of great points there, but let me let me point out one, and I have a question for you about one of your other celebrities who I absolutely think is hysterical. But, uh, you know, Pat Militich. So here's a guy who won the UFC. You and I were there when he won the UFC. We were also there when he lost the UFC <laughs> to, yep. to uh, Carlos Newton. Chris had some great connections, man. He got us sitting next to the cage at the UFC. We didn't. We weren't sitting in the nosebleed. We were sitting next to the cage with Chris's connections. And uh, anyway, uh, Pat's a nice guy. I met him way back uh, there. I remember a uh, very, very nice young man, the young man who's now probably, what's Pat now, about 50, I'm guessing? 55. 50, okay, so he's, he's in our age group even. But yep. Pat's, Pat's a perfect example. If you go back to one of the prior questions, right, the 25-year-old and the 60-year-old, Pat Militich, under normal circumstances, super busy guy, runs one of the elite gyms for UFC in the world, not just in the United States, does broadcast, has a family, busy guy. If you walked in and said, hey, I look at this multi-level, that multi-level, he might listen to you and he might use the product, but he didn't have time. All of a sudden, pandemic happens, 16 weeks without a paycheck. Well, you know, we, 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 we've all been there at one point in our lives or another. So Pat Militich, professional athlete, great guy, world renowned fighter, 16 weeks, you know, without a paycheck, that's got to impact you. And why would Pat be any different than the guy down the street who worked at the car dealership, who's not selling any cars or the guy who had the local pizza parlor, who isn't selling any pizzas during a pandemic. So great point. Chris, I got to ask you, because I'm a big fan of this guy, and I know he's one of your, your guys there with, uh, with your company, and I know he's got a lot of customers. I'd love you to talk about the customers for a second, but Bass Rutan, is he as funny in person as he is on TV? Because every time I see him with Kevin James, he is just the, the – he made, he made that Kevin James – I don't remember the show, what it was called, but Kevin James had a remake – with Leah Remini, and I forget the name of it. He was like a cop on Long Island. He had retired. And anyway, Bass was like his secretary. And well, uh, remember, he had the movie too. They had that movie, that's right. uh, Here Comes the Boom. That's right, where he was the coach. Right, right. So is he really that funny, or is he just good when you give him the lines? No, you know, he is that funny, but uh, I've known him. I had the opportunity to interview him a whole lot uh, when I was at Sirius XM Radio. So, I mean, I, I, uh, I had the opportunity to be inside that world. For, for a, a long world class, he's a tremendous human being, but he's very real. He's very real, and he he never uh, uh, 
He doesn't say anything he doesn't mean. That's the thing about bosses. You, you're not going to get him to say if he, if he believes in something, he's going to tell you. And if he doesn't believe in it, he's going to tell you with a smile. Uh, but he's still going to tell you. But how many how many customers did, did you tell me last time we talked? Thousands. Hundreds. Of uh, it's interesting. Uh, uh, Boss Root and Paul Lazenby and Pat Militich came into the, the, the company. And Pat put on over 2,000 customers. Uh, Paul over a thousand uh, uh, boss, you know, right in the same number. And you know, these, this is an industry where we all want customers, but the reality is to meet someone who goes out and does these kind of numbers is very, very rare. So then the idea is how do we show these people to create leverage in their life, not just to have the customers, but how do you create leverage? And it's a lot easier to do that when they're getting a check. It's a lot easier for them to listen when they got a check coming in because they have so many customers. That's what I've noticed that that influencers in general are much easier to listen to you and they have personal product experience and they have then they're making money. Career is, but it's got to be enough money to to get their attention. And that's what I found is if you get their attention. They're never going to go anywhere because they did not come to your company for the networking. They came to your company for the product. They stayed there because of the product and because of the paycheck. Exactly. Exactly. Well, that is a great example. So, Chris, let's let's uh, we're going to start to wrap up here. I got one more question for you that I'm going to throw to you. So let me do my little uh, advertisement for the show. The show is called Leaving Nothing to Chance we archive all of these shows. We started last March during the height of the pandemic. Uh, we've interviewed a lot of the luminaries in network marketing, uh, some of the support people in network marketing. Uh, we've had, had a host of uh, people on and we'll have, continue to have the best and the brightest in the future, like Chris Thomas, for example. So that is that. And a lot of the questions we ask are based on one of the books that I wrote, which is called Leave Nothing to Chance, Okay, which is available uh, on Amazon, in English, Spanish, digital, you can get it all over the world. Uh, Chris was able to get it over there in, in the Philippines, for example, the hard copy of it. Uh, and also uh, my prior book, uh, which was called Moving Up 2020. Both of those are Amazon bestsellers. Folks, I've done this business as, as Chris has. Uh, we're real guys. We've built networks. That's what we've done for the last three and a half decades. Okay, A lot of guys write books and then you find out they've never really built the downline in anything, which is kind of funny uh, that they're writing books about an industry that they've never really experienced only from the arm's distance. So we've really done it. So listen to the show. Tell your friends about the show. It's free and the content will always be generic. So Chris, I got to ask you in wrapping up. Your sage advice, 30 plus years in the industry, tons of success. You're living a great life. You got a beautiful young family, you got a beautiful wife. You know, you're, you're, you're living the dream, so to speak. What's your best advice simply for somebody that perhaps is listening and maybe they're struggling right now? They're struggling with, am I a network marketer or not? And you know what I'm saying, but they haven't made that real commitment to tell their best friend that they're in network marketing. They don't tell a stranger. They'll send an email or a text or whatever, but they won't tell their best friend or their mom that they're in the business. How do they get over that? I'll tell you the same thing you told me 35 years ago when I went on and you have to never be afraid because that chicken list is going to be the list. There's people just like you who nobody's afraid. Most people are afraid to talk to them. And when, if you're that person talking to someone about network marketing, and you're that first talking, use that chicken list. Don't be afraid of your chicken list because that's the key. Right now, everybody has a chicken list. And also immerse yourself in network marketing. Treat this as though you just bought a $1 million McDonald's and you are saying that you could get a McDonald's for a million dollars. So let's say you bought a $5 million McDonald's and now you have to pay for it. You have to get up every morning at five o'clock in the morning. You have to make sure the employees are there. You have to make sure that, that everything's made. You have to have the same commitment to running your network marketing business. And even if you haven't made it, it doesn't mean anything. When I first met you, you continually forced me to make sure I was always always using the, the 10 penny, the, the 10 penny, take 10 pennies in your left pocket, make the presentations 10 pennies until they're done with your right pocket. Well, in that process, I met a guy that, that 
that owned 11 companies and he had no time for my industry. And yet that guy lost 38 pounds selling those, eating those diet cookies all those years ago. And he ended up becoming a millionaire in that business, which in return, because I was his sponsor, changed my entire life. And if it hadn't have been for taking that, those 10 pennies and never be, being willing to quit and understanding that success is always, it's right in front of you. And success isn't something that, that some people get. Success is something that everybody can, everybody can get. Consistency and persistence are the key to success. Never, ever believe anything else. It's not talent. It's hard work, period. Well said. Well said. Well, thank you, my friend. And uh, continued success. I know you're probably going to want to go to sleep soon. I know it's what, what, what time are you there now in Manila? It uh, is uh, after 1 a.m. Wow. in the morning right now. Well, thank you so much for, for staying up late with us and wonderful interview, Chris, and uh, continued good success, my friend. Thank you, John. Thank you so much for having me on. Anytime. Thank you for listening to this week's episode of Leave Nothing to Chance. If you want to know more about what it takes to succeed in the network marketing space, join us again next week for another amazing episode. For additional resources and to connect with John Solider, visit leavingnothingtochance.com. Don't forget to leave a review, and we'll see you next time.